Hello everybody, welcome back to another legendary item guide here on Borderlands 3 on the new handsome jackpot DLC. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the legendary shield called the Rico. This is a legendary shield manufactured by Anshin. So to do this, you all you have to basically do is complete the final main story mission of this DLC called All Bets Off. It is obviously located in the VIP tower you will defeat the end boss jackpot. Uh, once that is done, you'll get the end story cutscene, as you can see, which finishes just like this. Once the cutscene is over, you'll get the end credits. You can just uh, hit back on that and come straight out of it. And as a reward for completing this DLC, you will be rewarded with a legendary shield, which you can see uh, happened on the top right of my screen right there. So we'll go ahead and take a little look at it. This is the Rico. Mine is the high caliber Rico. The red text on it says you want to live forever. Um, this is a reflect shield. So there's a 50% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded. 80% chance to reflect projectiles while not shielded. When damaged has a 15% chance to drop a power charge that increases weapon damage by 10%. So uh, yeah, you should be able to get this at level 50 uh, because it's right at the end of the game, at the end of the DLC. So everything should drop for you at level 50. Um, so yeah, that is basically all you need to know about that. A little bit of trivia right now. Uh, the name and the flavour text are a reference to uh, the 1997 movie Starship Troopers. Um, the text is a quote by the movie's protagonist called Rico. The full quote is, come on you apes, you want to live forever. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. That is all you need to know about that. So the weapon is, uh, sorry, the shield itself, like I said, is a reflex shield. So when you're doing quite well and your shield is up, you've still got a half a chance, a 50% chance of any bullets that hit you actually ricocheting. So not only does this keep your shield alive longer, because half of the time, uh, if all goes well, your shield won't actually get touched. It'll just reflect the, uh, the actual bullets off. Um, so yeah, survivability is quite good. Now if your shield does break, then there's actually an 80% chance of nearly all the time you should be getting reflected bullets. Again, this will keep you alive longer, maybe keep you where uh, so your shield will actually recharge because it's not getting damaged, etc. Uh, it's all about survivability, that is the best part of this thing uh, as well. Um, plus the uh, the fact that it drops the little power cores as well if you uh, I mean I'm not the biggest fan of picking things up all the time I don't like the shields that drop boosters and power cores and stuff like that but it is handy you will get extra weapon damage um, when your shield is depleted it will mean that you can clear up mainly mobs and things like that that are damaging your shield and it will just let your shield recharge a bit longer so yeah all in all this shield works really well together it just keeps you alive through harder fights things like that if you haven't got a decent you know end game shield and you're looking for one or trying to get hold of one this will certainly do in its place until you find your perfect shield, um, etc. Really good for things like melee players and things like that as well. It will just work on any enemies. I think it works against e melee damage as well, which is pretty good. So if an enemy melees you, it will just suicide itself, as you can see right there. Uh, so yeah, all in all, just a really, really good all-round shield. So definitely recommend giving this thing a try. Anyway guys, that was the Rico. Like I said, end game reward for completing the main story. Definitely good to have, so uh, hopefully it serves you guys well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out the link in the description for the rest of the legendary location guides. That is in a playlist down in the description, as well as the handsome jackpot DLC playlist, where everything from this DLC will go into the same place. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.